So this is a video about what not to do post-divorce and one of the big not to do's is to use your children as your emotional safety blanket and to hide behind them during your divorce. So whilst it might look noble on the surface, in other words, you are very focused on their feelings and needs, in some ways that I've seen it a lot in my time as a divorce coach, just really looking at how people monitor and moderate their own emotional regulation response and what are some of the avoidance tactics that they use to feel better. One of the biggest avoidance tactics that people use is they hide behind their kids and their needs and whatever. They become overly involved in the lives of their children, overly obsessed with the details of what's going on with their children. Now the thing is, is that most communication is actually quite subtle. It's not just what we're saying and not just our body language, which is a large proportion. A lot of it is our intention and the feeling behind what we're saying. You know how sometimes you can say something really, you know, um, the words can be really nice, but the feeling behind what you're saying is quite hectic and that's how somebody will receive it. It's the same way for all communication. If somebody can feel a feeling behind something, that's how they're going to absorb that communication. Now, during developmental stages, children, when children don't yet have like deep vocabulary or they're not yet in, in the kind of um, latter emotional intelligence realms, and they're still developing, most of their communication is based on sensing this feeling and intention behind communication. And in earlier developmental stages, um, children can be very um, ego focused. In other words, they think they are to blame or involved in that causing that feeling for an adult. So if you as a parent are feeling very clingy, very needy, very sad, you might be thinking, I'm shielding my children from all that stuff, but actually unconsciously you could be putting a lot of that feeling behind your good intentions and what you're saying and doing with your kids. I've seen parents just become completely obsessed with the lives of their children, not just weaponizing their children in putting them, putting them between themselves and their ex, and that's just horrible behavior, but, but the kind of nicer version of that is becoming obsessed with their lives, you know, um, following them all over the place, wanting to be involved in everything that they're doing, wanting to chat inappropriately about like really strong emotional topics, um, allowing them to kind of see a lot of the emotional trauma that you're feeling or, you know, um, guilting them into feeling like they should not be going out, having fun, enjoying their lives, that they should rather be at home with you watching videos and eating popcorn. Watch that. If you're hiding behind these emotional needs of your kids, check in with yourself and be really authentic with yourself about whether you are doing that. Are you postponing your own recovery journey and having a short-term emotion avoidance tactic for yourself because you're channeling all this energy behind your kids, you know, and being involved, too overly involved in what they're up to and what they're doing in their day-to-day -day lives. Look, the job of a parent is ultimately to raise their children to be viable adults. Your job is actually to train them to be, become independent and awesome as human beings one day. If they like you along that journey and they, they have great love and respect for you, you're really winning. But sometimes you need to focus more on their viability rather than them just loving you and giving you loves and cuddles and all that stuff because that's your emotional needs. That's not necessarily their emotional needs. Okay? So you have to think about the energy exchange with your kids. Like if you've got to make sure that they're good, they're taken care of, whatever, and then otherwise you're training them to be awesome. You're making sure that they are developing skills and they're learning good habits to become great adults one day. Over fixation to get your love needs met through that person, not okay. All right, I've seen very dysregulated kids that have 
been exposed too early to too heavy topics and you need to watch that as an adult. So if you think you're hiding behind your kids and you are using them unconsciously as a short-term emotion avoidance tactic, make sure that you get some help and get yourself onto a program um, like the Emotional Freedom Program or one of the other programs that we have on offer in our website. Subscribe to our channel. We have more videos talking about how to behave with children um, and how to deal with kids that are going through trauma. Make sure that you put them in the best position where you're really genuine in helping them and not just feigning helping them and actually getting your own needs met in the way. All right? Book a call with someone on our team and we can chat through your specific issue if you want to talk about it more. Take care.